you back here in Benson tonight on 790 WTAR as we get set for overtime tonight. And I think my voice is starting to go in the midst of all this excitement tonight. And we're still get a, getting a ruling, I believe, as the Admirals have sent one of their players down there to have a discussion with Harrison, the referee. And I assume it is because of the non-goal by Rod Mandel. Mandel took a pass in the slot and put what looked like the go-ahead goal by Bill Horn as the puck just went trickling, at least from this point, across the goal line. But the officials apparently ruled the puck did not entirely cross the goal line. And thus no goal, even though the red light did come on. So we're set for overtime. For the third time in as many games with the Admirals playing in this building. Scott King has had a good night for the Admirals in goal. As has his counterpart, Bill Horn of Roanoke Valley. The two teams will continue to shoot at the same net. Five minute overtime. First team that scores here wins. If no one scores in five minutes, then it's an overtime shootout. Brian Martin, Murray Hood, Pat Cavanaugh, Rob Mendel, and Jody Krasnick on the ice. The Admirals will look at the net to our left. Roanoke Valley to our right. Pete Kosowski in there for the faceoff against Hood. It's won by the Admirals. Back in their own end. Krasnick to Mendel. Cross the red line. Plays it down in the corner. The rebound. Out on the goal line. Kavanaugh plays it behind the net. Martin gets a stick on it. Brian dumps it back and taken away by the south. Down the ice to Fuster. Fuster drives it in the corner. Strange hop out towards the net. King puts a stick on it. Gives it over to Franzen. Ahead. Got away from Brian Martin. Too far out in front. But it's played back towards the neutral zone. And the Rebels have it there. Here's Marco Fuster. Lost it over the hood. He'll lead it ahead for Brian Martin. Double team lost the puck. Free down there is near the boards and the Roanoke end of the ice. He passes the red line for the Rebels. Up to the near board. And the Rebels drive it into the Admiral zone down in the corner. Kozowski down there for it. Drives the plate on the board. Out of the blue line. Knocked down. Whitfield moving in. Looks, shoots over the net and over the glass. Out of play. That one looked like that Pete Stoyanovich field goal last week. Man. Just up, up, and kept going. Three fifty-six left to go in overtime. Three, three, the Admirals and the Rebels. The Rebels outscored Hampton Roads one to nothing in that third period. The teams were even up with eight shots on goal in the third. The Admirals still with a big edge for the night. Eight shots on goal. Here on the Admiral's end, just on the inside of the circle. Hughes there for the Admiral. Ron Jones. Oh, throwing out talent. Here's the faceoff. The Admiral's control and play it out towards the red line. Pete Hines got it. Hines loses it. McEwen, lead pass just ahead of Nolan. Now McEwen gives it over. Nolan winds up, shoots and a kick save off the stick. To the near side board. McEwen couldn't handle it, got checked away from it. Out of the red line. Now it's McEwen again. McEwen plays it around the board. To the near side corner. Three and a half minutes to go. From the point, Big Nell shot. Up the stick of Bellaville. To the far board to go. The Admiral's back there, looks for it. Harry Hughes has it. Hughes looks to center. Back out to Frasic for the point, winds up a shot deflected, just wide left. And the Admirals lose it over to Roanoke Valley. Out to the red line, here's a good check as he's got knocked down, controlling the puck is Aubrey. Aubrey plays it into the Admirals, then Hampton Rose intercepts. Burt Cabot on the lead pass, drops it back, Big Nell winds up from the blue line, fires it into the corner. The Rebels play it out towards center ice. With it there is O'Sheridan. Michael Sheridan on the left side wing winds up, shoots, and a save by Scott King, who jumps on top of the puck. 2.38 left to go until overtime. 3-3 ties. Three, three Thanks for staying with us.
with us tonight on 790 WTAR. It has been worth the while. So far. Plays it to Hawley, lost it at the blue line. Back at the red line, the Rebels take it. Played in the Admiral zone. 229 left to go in overtime. Big Nell with the puck. Up ahead to Hawley. Hawley lost it on the board. Punches it into the neutral zone. The Rebels play it from there at the red line. With the puck, Michael Sheridan. Gives it over to Simeon. Simeon, lead pass in the crease. Nobody there. Back in the corner it goes. Big Nell plays it for the Admiral. The prime mark. Martin across the blue line, dumps it ahead. Wilson and the Rebels keep it in. The Admiral takes it. Here's Martin, leading for Hood. Murray on the breakaway, moves in. Wilson, he got knocked off the puck finally from behind. Murray Hood at the breakaway, and Michael Sheridan made up a lot of ground in a hurry, finally catching Hood from behind and just getting his stick in there to knock the puck away. A marvelous play by O'Sheridan. The goal came off his point. So we'll get another face off as they set things back up. A minute 52 to go in overtime. Three, three times. Face off, back of the road again. We better finish this one fast because I don't have much voice left. on the face-off. And the puck. It's still not down. Now it is. Hughes. Lost it. Here comes Fuster. Across the red line. Plays it down towards the goal. James puts a soft stick on it. Gives up to Plaston. Minute 35 to go in overtime. Plaston comes out in front of his own net. Leads the mark. Deflects it ahead. Down in the corner. In the Rebel zone. And that'll be an icy call. And we'll pause 30 seconds back with the final minute 29 of overtime right after this. 3-3 is the score still. 1 minute 29 seconds to go in overtime. Based off of the Anthony Rose end. Controlled by the Admiral. Kurt Cabot on the lead to Brian Martin across the red line. Martin across the blue line. Streaking down the wing. Stops there in the corner. Controls the punt. Now moved by on the goal line. Looks to center. Gets checked off the play. Puck free back there. In the corner goes again. Trying to dig it out. The Rebels control. And they'll play the length of the ice. And if the Admirals win the race, this will be another face off. But moving down there is Belleville. Belleville got his stick on the puck, so it's no icing. Back behind the net. They've got it. Here's a wrap around the tip. Just wide right of the crease. 57 seconds to go in overtime. Loose puck behind the net. Roanoke's got it. Trying to move it out is Aubrey. In the right side corner, he sends it. Stopping there with it. Aubrey still in control. And the whistle blows. Away from the puck. And it became tied up on the board. 43 seconds left to go in the game. And overtime. 3-3 three, three score. We're 43 seconds away from an overtime shootout. timeout call here. I believe this one by John Brophy. So we'll pause 30 seconds. We're back with the finish of overtime. After this, this is Admiral Hockey on WGAR. Here in Vincent with the vocal cord quickly fading away. Still 43 seconds to go in overtime. And then perhaps an overtime shootout. 3-3 three, three is our score. We'll get a face off here in the Hampton Road Dance with the right of goaltender Scott King. Scotty looking for his eighth win on the year against four defeats. He's played a good one tonight. As has Bill Horn of Roanoke Valley. Ken Hawley gets the face off. Chokes up on that stick. Against Krasowski. Puck down. Played into the corner. The Admiral Savage. Met down behind his own net. Checked hard into the glass. Lost the puck. It's tied up there and the whistle blows. We'll get another face off. This is Ben. A very clean game, only six penalties have been called all 
all night. They have all been minors. And a couple of those have been coincidental minors. in the corner. Grabs it, drives it around the board to Murray Hood. Hood ahead to Martin at the red line. Martin kicks it ahead, lost the handle. The Rebels steal. Sosowski's got it. He'll beat it on the right side wing. Driving in his ear. Mirror looks, shoots, and a stick save off to the side of the net by Scott King. Into the corner, goes to the punches. The end of Brian Martin has it. 13 seconds to go in overtime. Go back at the length of the ice. This should be an icing call. They come down and touch the puck with five seconds to go. They'll wave off the icing here. Carey intercepted in zone zone. Gets it up to Murray Hood. He couldn't handle it. And the clock expires. And we're set for an overtime shootout. We're back with that after a 30-second break. Three, three times. This is Apple Hockey on WGAR. Period. The Admirals outshot three to one by the Rebels. 3-3 three, three tie at the end of overtime, so we're off to an overtime shootout. Pete the shoe on 790 WTAR here in Benton tonight. If you're not familiar with the shootout, here's what happens. Each team selects five skaters to go one-on-one -on -one against the opposing goal kicker. Whichever team tallies the most goals among those five wins. Should we still be tied after five shooters through each team, then each team will alternate one shooter apiece until we have a team go ahead and win this game. The Admiral's most recent overtime shootout was in Johnstown, in which the Admiral's won in a game that needed 18 overtime shooters before Jody Pranson finally came out on top. Now, let's see what sort of strategy John Murphy goes with. Usually, when you're on the road in a shootout, the goal is to get the early lead. And for that reason, Murphy has been having Brian Martin shoot first. But it will not be Martin. Ken Hawley is the lone man on the ice. So I assume he will get the first crack for the Admiral. Just like the home team in baseball, the home team in the overtime shootout always gets the last chance. The Admirals will send one, the Roanoke will send one, the Admirals will send number two, and vice versa, until each team is sent five. One 
stopping Admiral's nearly overtime shootout. Here comes Bellaville down the ice. Controls the puck. Keeps it right in front. He'll shoot between the legs of Kane Saturday night, 
down in Greensboro, and WGAR will have coverage of that one for you as well.